Someone say that health is a state of complete harmony of the body, mind, and spirit. When one is free from physical disabilities and mental distractions, the gates of the soul are open. It's true. These three things are connected. Your soul has to talk about your life of purpose, the reason as to why you are here, your identity, your authenticity, and so on. And yet, it is affected by your body, by your mind, by your spirit. If the health of those things and is not okay, then you're going to be messed up in your soul. And if you're messed up in your soul, it is not easy for you to deploy your purpose. That's why we're discussing the importance of health and wellness and vitality in purpose pursuit. Today, let us look at one of those reasons as to why we don't take it seriously. Stay tuned. Welcome to the Life Signatures Podcast with Lawrence Namale. Lawrence is a life coach, author, and keynote speaker who loves to tackle different topics on purpose, productivity, and resilience. His mission in life is to awaken all your boundless possibilities available in you. Life Signatures Podcast is dedicated to bring to reality every single person who knows that deep down in their gut, there's got to be more to life than this. And now, here is your host, Lawrence Namale. I think I've made my point when I've been discussing in these past three episodes about the importance of health and vitality in the purpose pursuit. I've made my point and I don't need to belabor it anymore. But I want us to look at some of the reasons as to why we don't take health seriously. And today we're just going to look at one reason. And uh, it is one reason that has made very many people to take lightly their health, lightly their vitality. And so on. I was reading a book called uh, Brain Rules, and this book is is all about the health of the brain and and so on. It's something that I will actually recommend for you to do, and I've, I think I've done a, a review of that book in these episodes. One of the things that the guys in the book they talk about they talk about activity connecting to the mind or connecting sorry to the brain that the health of the brain is directly proportional to the activities that we are doing. In other words, the people who are active, people who are involved, that's why they normally encourage children, especially when they are growing up. And in these days we are moving away from that in a very dangerous way where kids are just seated in school, I mean, from 8 a.m. Hmm, all the way to 5, and then they come back home and they're sitting. Of course, when there's COVID and so on, maybe it's a, it's a bit of of a difference but it's a dangerous thing when you are not dangerous to your mind dangerous to your brain when you are not active you might think that you are seated on your computer the whole day and you're just swatting and you're just working and you know you're making things happen but you will be shocked to notice that you are doing yourself a great disservice by not necessarily getting active so let me not belabor that point But one of the biggest reasons as to why we don't take our health seriously, especially as our purpose is concerned, it is because, number one, we are ignorant. Pure, sheer ignorance. In the book Brain Rules, they say that when we were in the forest, okay, Stone Age and so on and so forth, We used to walk miles upon miles upon miles. And it was, okay, it was natural. These days, we don't. We, uh, you know, we, we developed at some moment in time and we started moving from the chair to the TV to switch channels. But then we developed. 
we no longer move to the TV to switch channels, we switch using the remote. We have coined the word called potato couch. Someone who is just seated on the couch the whole day, probably just watching stuff, or maybe even working. The guys who are sitting in an office the whole day with a lot of backlog, the in tray, the out tray, I mean, there's a disproportion among them. The reason as to why that is happening is because we are sharply, acutely ignorant of the power of our health in our purpose pursuit up until we are in the doctor's office. That's when we take our health seriously. That's when we realize that there's something chronic that was happening which could have been arrested. And we just were oblivious. We think that the only time we're supposed to take care of our health is when we are sick. When a disease has come upon us, when we cannot breathe well, when we are feeling flu and so on, that's when we're supposed to take care of our health. It's the other way around. That ignorance is wrong. You know, in Christian circles, they normally talk about healing and at the same time, they also talk about divine health. Let me explain the two. Healing is what happens after you've fallen sick. When you've fallen sick, you go to a prophet, a preacher, a healer, somewhere, and they lay hands on you, they pray for you, they put oil on you, whatever it is that they do, so that you can get healing. Divine health means that you are operating in a healthy life where there is no disease that is coming into you. But you know what? This so-called divine health is at some point in time just pure, sheer, good health practices. That's it. And the problem is we have so much ignorance about this. And let me tell you this. I have lived in two environments in my life. And let me just use this analogy. The environments that I'm talking about are classy and not classy. Okay, you could say that I've lived in areas that are maybe slummy, slum areas and so on at some point in my life. And at some other points in my life, I've lived in areas that are the so-called middle class. And even uh, higher than middle class. But I have seen something very unique. You know what I've seen? I have seen that the more I lived in the areas that are not so classy, I used to go out there and jog. And I used to be looked at as if I am a cow on a new gate. It's like I am a complete... What kind of a guy is this? What is he doing? Who is chasing him? Why is he running? What's the problem with him? That kind of mentality. People not knowing that what I am doing is something supposed to be natural, normal. They are ignorant of the fact that their health is important and they're supposed to have intentional care of their health, their physical bodies, their minds, their spirits, their emotions. People are oblivious of that fact. That is one reason as to why someone will sit on their desk the whole day thinking that they are the best employee. Some guys, I used to see some guys working all the way up to midnight. I mean, seated all the way to midnight. Let me tell you, you're doing that. You are not going to live past 70. Even 60, you look like you're the, the oldest guy. And this one actually happened to me, by the way. It happened to me. When you talk about physical health, when you talk about mental health, when you talk about uh, spiritual health, when you talk about uh, emotional health, let me tell you what happened to me. In my first job, is something that we used to work from 8, actually from 7 a.m., all the way up to 8 in the evening. And by the way, do you know, for you to get to work and start working by 7, do you know what time you're supposed to have woken up? You're supposed to have woken up much, much earlier. To prepare and to move so that you can get to work. Imagine you're doing that on a daily basis for six days. And you're living basically the the only time you sit down to rest, so to speak, is when you're eating. And actually you don't even finish your food because you're jam-packed. Now that is physical. That's how I was killing my body physically. But then I was also killing myself emotionally because I hated the job. I knew 
spiritually also emotionally i know that i was much much better than what i was doing that i was gifted beyond teaching people how to double click with a mouse and i used to have a glorified terminology or a title called computer consultant or it consultant just a guy who is teaching people microsoft windows 98 microsoft windows 95 it is an icon sir cycle bin sir my computer you go to my computer you right click and you double click and you move you go to paint that that's the, the work i was doing because computers were new so physically i was wasting away spiritually i was wasting away mentally i was wasting away and emotionally i was wasting away i was corroding myself and i was seated there thinking that you know that i have a job at least i have a job so it came to a time let me tell you how this thing is critical i was let me not go ahead of myself but it came to a time when they were doing appraisals and i was one of those guys that they wanted to lay off all right so i was called to the office of the boss and i went and I sat down and they said the process of appraisal and i performed dismally clearly I performed dismally and the the boss had some kind of compassion so to speak and they wanted to encourage me and they wanted to give me some words of encouragement now that um, i was being shown the door or something of that nature he said you are a gifted guy you're very young you're just 30 right i was in 30 i was 20 but i looked so old like i was 30 i kid you not i mean a face that is screwed hair all over my, my 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 face long hair on my head and looking emaciated hopeless you look old when you don't take care of your physical health mental health emotional health spiritual health have you ever seen someone who has just fallen in love they come alive they look younger but if you look at someone who is going through a frustration or another they look old they look wasted that is the critical importance of your health and one of the reasons as to why we don't take care of our health guess what is because we are ignorant about its premium importance we feel that the most important thing to do is activity work you we need to meet our targets meet our targets and so on. and of course there are some jobs or some pieces of work where you walk around i mean you've got to go and walk maybe if you're doing sales and so on and so forth so at least you by default you're doing some activity all right but then if you find yourself that you are a writer for example like myself and i'm talking to myself right now you're a writer you're a podcaster and you're doing these things full time you are someone who is working maybe on the internet and online marketing or whatever it is your your work is online and by the way many people's work is moving online even when you're not necessarily a writer and a blogger and all those things we're working online most of us in fact we're working in those most of us a large population today i have seen the the government of uganda has opened up after a, a period of 42 days lockdown opened up the country and you know what they're saying they're saying that only 20% of workers should report to work at any particular office we are all working in those if we continue the ignorance and we ignore our health and its place and its importance we are doing ourselves a great disservice we can only go so far it's like when you are driving a vehicle and you don't take it for periodic servicing let me tell you one of the things you can be able to do with a vehicle and you can stay with it for quite a long time Uh, the, the story I told you yesterday of uh, a doctor, the very first surgeon in Uganda. He was famed as a guy who managed and maintained his vehicle even up to, to today. The guy was born in the 40s, actually, I think, in the 20s, sorry. But I'm told today, it's 20, it's, it's the year 2021, I'm told today if you look at his car that he was driving, he passed away in 2016. But if you looked at the car he was, his, he was driving, it is as good as new. It is because he took care of that vehicle and that's the same thing we're supposed to take care of our health this ignorance about our health and putting you know importance and premium and priority on other things other than our health is ignorance and it's causing us not to take our health seriously so nutrition exercise is not a priority 
or is it a necessity because we are ignorant? We think that it's for the athletes, the Ronaldos, or maybe we think that it's for the elite, so to speak. You know, the, those ones who are running in the suburbs, in the you know, in the, 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 the high locations and so on. We think that's that's for them. You know, it's a muzungu thing. No, <laughs> come on, it's a human thing, right? So one of the reasons as to why we do not do this, we do not take our health seriously, and yet it's very critical for our purpose, is because we are ignorant of it. It is not something that is for a few individuals, it's for every human being. Your physical health, your mental health, your spiritual health, your emotional health, they are all critical. Tomorrow we'll continue talking about these things until then. Thank you for listening to Life Signatures Radio. If you enjoyed today's show, subscribe to Life Signatures Radio on iTunes, Stitcher, or visit our website at lifesignatures.libsyn.com. Life Signatures Radio, fresh, clean, and inspiring.